Hey everyone, Dorns here, Master Tier Top Laner. And this is just a little video I wanted to make to explain something really simple that a lot of low elo top laners don't really use that can get win them so many more games and climb them up divisions. So if you want to learn about freezing and three wave crashing, this should be the video for you. I want to make a bigger video with more detail on the different types of crashes you can do and what waves you should be doing them on and what conditions they meet. Minions but I just had this really good game that I wanted to use as an example for how to win the game basically for three in three minutes. So we're just speeding up through this early game here. What do we know about this uh, this matchup? Trinimer is a really sticky champion and when Ghost and Flash most champions can't outrun him. Kale is a champion that gets hard counted by Trinimer and she didn't take Ghost to match my Ghost. So if I ever get on top of her, she can never outrun me. Kale was also a really heavily scaling champion, so I want to stop her from getting, you know, her levels as much as possible. This means that we should be looking to freeze on her pretty much at every opportunity we get. So here, indeed, I'm opting not to push the waves. I'm just last hitting and slowly stacking up this wave for a wave 3 crash. What a wave 3 crash does is crashes a huge amount of minions under the Kale's turret right now when I start shoving. And there's nothing she can do to stop. She's given me the slow push so far, so at this point it's already too late, and she's lost the lane. This is because when this wave all crashes and dies, she's going to have more minions because her minions are arriving faster, because my minions have to walk all this way, while hers are just coming up here and hitting minions that are already under her tower. So I crash the wave and instantly recall. I opt for boots here as my purchase, because boots are really good on Trenomir, and they help me stick on to Kale if she ever tries to break this freeze, which requires her to go into melee. Kale only gets ranged at level 6, which means she can't really contest this freeze that's coming. So I crash on wave 3, I've reset. Normally on a wave 3 crash for most champions, you want to look to help your jungler on secure scuffle crap, but my jungler didn't need help this game, so we got that relatively free. So here, we're on wave 4, and Kale has lost. I'm going to hit level 4 here and try and fight her a little bit to try and force a flash, force a TP, recruit any little advantage I can with this boost advantage I have. But it ends up not really doing anything. But it does force her to reset. Forcing her to reset here is good. It's great even. Here you can see the trade. And that sort of thing, so. The Miko appears to be having some connection issues, but you know, none of this matters. So as you can see, the wave is pushing into me. Kale has lost. There's nothing Kale can do now that will ever put her back in this game. I'm going to make sure that the minion wave freezes around here, and there's nothing she can ever do to farm the minion wave. Here I throw a ward here so I can see if she's trying to get an XP range, because I want her effort out of XP range. The Kale sees, she can't walk up. If she walks up here to try and shove this wave, I'm going to e-ghost on her, and if she flashes, I follow flash and I get the kill, and the freeze should remain intact because I have such a huge uh, minion deficit that even eating through a couple minions and doing a lot of AoE damage, I will still relatively get a wave scot free and the wave should be frozen here for a while. Chaos knows this and this is what she does. Rest of the game. She can't ever go back top lane. And look how long I hold this freeze. The Kale goes mid to try and split XP because there's nothing she can do about this. It's minute six. Nothing. Kale's just sitting mid, because she can't get XP anywhere else, it's just flaming her. There's nothing she can do. The Warwick needs to come and help her, but he doesn't. So, minute 7. She's now creeping her jungle by taking drop. Minute 8. She comes. I double kill her jungle and her top and her. The freeze remained intact through that. Minute 9. Minute 10. Minute 11. Red team 12. Red team Finally, at minute 13, the Syndra decides that they should probably come and help break this freeze that I've been holding for 13 minutes and I have 100 CR for her 60, but her 60 has been split XP where she's been griefing her team. She's effectively out of the game, there's nothing she can do to ever come back. This is because I 3 wave crashed. This will win you so many more games if you think about what minion waves you should be crashing and how you can accrue huge advantages in counter matchups like this. 
This Kale couldn't play the game for 13 minutes. There was absolutely zero counter play and nothing she could ever have done to prevent me from freezing on her for 13 minutes other than begging her jungler and gold elo to come break her free. And junglers and gold elo don't know what that means. Well, this was just a small video and I hope it at least helps some of you learn about how to freeze successfully and what conditions you should be meeting. Just remember to slow push wave 1, wave 2, and then crash on wave 3. This will always guarantee you a freeze as the wave will bounce back into you and you'll be able to freeze from then on out. In counter matchups where the opposing laner can't walk into your melee range, so you can play something like Trindamir, uh, Darius, anything like that. Uh, it's really devastating, and there's nothing the enemy top laner can ever do to recover. Uh, we basically won this game off this, even though it became quite turbulent. I ended up becoming such a huge monster, and my team was so scaled, and they were so behind from splitting XP and griefing. So, we ended up winning the game pretty easily. So, I hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.